good jump, the 877 stalled. We just talked about. How about the 824 jumping up there? there wow. Jim. Oh, wow, man. This ought to be good, and you know what? We've had a big rivalry going on, and on the uh, Lucas Oil Totally Off-Road Radio Show the other night, big smack talk going down between Austin Kimberlin yes. and Chad George. So I know they're definitely out there eager to beat each other. Austin's been getting the, the better end of that as of late, but we'll have to see how it all shakes out. Well, it looks like Tyler Winberry right now is the, going around there. Cody Raiders with him. Lots of slide, and you can see the two-wheel drives and the four-wheel drive units. You'll see them coming around. We got somebody off into the K-Rail over there out of turn number one as the pack comes around. So the local caution is going to come out. There you can see Winbury slides out in front of George, take the line, but he tries to pin George against the wall. George does not give an inch. Yeah, he did not want to be there. So let's see what happens here. Coming into turn one, going outside in, trying to shotgun. Well, Cody Raiders and Tyler Herzog are battling back there. Tyler Herzog getting that Ivy trucking and grading. String Fab, Walker Evans, Buzzies, and Weller Racing sponsorship. Pretty good to see that young man out there getting some sponsors. And look at this, Cody Raiders starting to slide around there a little bit. Herzog now in the third position, but the battle for the top spot continues. This is another 15 lap main event, ladies and gentlemen. So we're looking around lap eight. We're gonna probably see that mandatory caution. And it always depends if there's a crash and they have to throw uh, a caution flag a lap or two before or after, you know, they'll They'll do that, and it won't be exactly halfway, but somewhere around the midway point is when you see that mandatory caution. That's right, and it looks right behind me. We got a battle going with Kyle LaDuke and Travis Coyne out there for that little uh, team-associated battle. If you're not watching this, you might be watching that going on there, but the battle for this place is still continuing in front of us. Man, Winbury is just hogging that track, not giving George an inch. I know these two uh, go out, they're teammates, they practice a little bit together, and uh, I think George may have uh, given out too many secrets there. And here they come down again, the front straightaway, Winbury pulls ahead by a couple of uh, car lengths there to make that difference. Herzog, Raiders, Corey Weller. And you got Austin Kimbrell back there in the 607 gym. Seven laps completed thus far. We can expect to see that caution flag coming out soon, folks. And I tell you what, Chad George can't get around now. It's all going to maybe come down to that hole shot when the green flag drops, Dave. Yeah, uh, that's right. You know, you talk about that. Look at the battle going on in the pack of the pack, though. Look at these uh, drivers are just dicing. Seeing the MagnaFlow UTV, Robert Wilson going by. Yeah, trying his hands behind the wheel today. Yeah, pretty cool. There it is, the mandatory caution. We get ready to re-rack, restack, and see what happens here for the second half of the race to see who takes top honors. Back racing again. Let's watch the jump. The green flag's out, and here comes George trying to make that early move like we talked about. And a couple of the SR1s, contact coming into turn number one. Somehow they stay fairly clean. I don't know how. Well, I can tell you right now, <laughs> it's Winberry with the bullseye on his back, everybody on his porch, everybody wants in that door. Yeah, that's not just Chad George now, it's everybody. No, you can see Tyler Herzog, Code Raiders, Corey Weller's up in the mix up there too. Oh, Winberry, all kinds of out of shape. <laughs> you can see him coming around. Chad George still hunting him down. Tyler Herzog. And oh, look at what he got a fast mover coming up there. Wow. Somebody hit the nitrous. So Whitberry still leading the charge. Chad George. Then that's Austin Kimbrell there in the 844. Charging all the way up to the number three spot now. So he's got a whole lot of view of Chad George. That big smackdown. Yeah, I know. We were talking about that smack talk between the two of these drivers. We had them on earlier week on the radio show. We talked about 
And I'll tell you, Austin said he's going to get Here he goes to the side of George. And George gets a little out of shape, and he's able to get by him there. So now it is Austin Kimbrell into the second position, but Winberry's still in the lead. Winberry's going, hey, guys, just dice it out behind me. You know, forget about me. I'll put it out front. Well, while Chad was trying to reel in Winberry, here comes Kimbrell out of nowhere, and now he's on the charge with his sights set on the leader, Winberry. Coming into the final sweeper, he's almost cut off to him already. I don't know what happened to that vehicle, but uh, Kimbrell shot out of a cannon, and here he comes, heading towards the line. And trying look to at this. Now Corey Weller making the lead by George into the third position. Wow. And that's going to be your leading SR1 class right now, Corey Weller. Oh, Kimbrell trying to go by as Winberry bicycles and has a good run coming to the inside of turn number three. Makes the pass. We have a new leader, folks. Oh, man, this race is heating up here. Corey Weller back in that third position. And Chad George has a whole lot of Cody Raiders coming up behind him. I tell you what, this last bump before turn number five, really kicking the rear ends of those things straight up in the air. But Winberry's gotten things back together. Trying to get uh, get past Kimbrough. I don't know if something happened to Chad George's machine, but he's going backwards yeah, right now. Yeah, he is starting to uh, slip back just a little bit. Doesn't quite have the power, but he can't pull the trigger like he was earlier, that's for sure, because here comes Code Raiders now. Cody on the inside to make the pass to move into the fourth position. And George, oh, look at this, the inside. George trying to give it a little bit more throttle, hammer down. And Weller gets around Kimbrough. Actually, Weller gets by uh, Winberry there. Oh, I'm sorry, Winberry, you're right. Kimbrell goes in the lead. And now it's Corey Weller, Tyler Winberry, Cody Raiders, and Van Beekum. I've been wondering what happened to Van Beekum. Oh, here comes all kinds of contact bunching up right now. Look at that. There is a dog fight in the back of the pack for sure, but here we come down. Kimbrell the possessed, but now. Now, I prematurely called Weller passing Kimbrell, but look, she's definitely on the charge here, Dave. We might actually hear that here. I don't know. Those machines are definitely looking like they're in a league of their own. And that definitely sounds like a sick TV coming down right there. The 655 of Dempsey definitely having some problems. And look at this fastest lap of the day, folks. Corey Weller with a 52.8. And she's sitting first in her class right now. White flag is out. One Here lap go. to go, folks. Can Corey Weller? Real in Kimberly, even though they're second classes, it's kind of cool to be the first person to take that checkered flag. Yes, that is true. And look at this, Code Raiders. He's in an SR1 trying to uh, come by and make a move to better the position. Uh-oh, problems with the Corey Weller machine and fire. Wow. It definitely spit, and that's not what Half you want. Half a lot to go. Down comes the net. She's going to get out of that thing. And Man, she's out are. of the car, but wow, half a lap from winning the race. Here we go. The checkered flag is out. And it is going to be first across the line, taking that checkered flag, Austin Kimbrough.